1962 American Trotting Classic at Roosevelt Raceway was won by Porterhouse driver Earl Avery. Well, I can remember those Clearview stable colors as well today as they did back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah, they were worn by great horses too. Meadow Skipper, Muncie Hanover, and a lot of great ones. Stanley Dancer occasionally gets into the bike when he's driving a Clearview horse uh, even today. And wears it, their colors. Right. Earl Avery, another truly great horseman. Yes, from up in uh, Newfoundland or Nova Scotia. Came first time I ever saw him was in the Kite Ridge track at uh, Old Orchard, Maine. And he had some great horses and got to be one of the great drivers in the United States. Porterhouse, the trotter that he'll win the American Trotting Championship with at Roosevelt, was a nice uh, trotter. Uh, a real good trotter. And, and this race, Earl just drove a wonderful race. He just was there at the right time and came in between horses and won it. And when I saw this first and sent it to uh, Norman, I said, I know you'll like this tape. And you mean Norm Woolworth? Norm Woolworth, the owner. The owner of the Clearview Staple. Another great moment in harness racing, the 1962 American Trotting Championship from Roosevelt. The winner will be Porter House, reigned by Earl Avery. Large crowds in the 60s. You know, Joe Goldstein brought all those crowds. He was a publicity man at Roosevelt Raceway. He did a wonderful job for the International and American Trotting Championships. Earl Avery right here, moving up on the outside, going to the front with Porter House in this particular horse race on the half-mile track. I think that's Stanley on the outside with Sumac Ladd. Sumac Ladd will come up, take the lead, and eventually uh, Porter House finds himself sitting fourth at the rail Going to have to find room between horses. Earl Avery, master rangeman, finds that room, comes between horses to win at Roosevelt. 